On the 6th of June 2019, Kate Middleton takes the salute at a spectacular military parade to honor the troops. This is the first time that the mother of three has been given the salute at Beating the Retreat, a military musical show. At the end of a day of remembering the bravery of wartime soldiers on the 75th anniversary of D-Day, Kate Middleton showed her support for those in the military. The royal took the salute at a military parade that helped kick off the celebrations for Queen Elizabeth's official birthday on Saturday. She wore a cream coat dress from her favorite designer, Catherine Walker, and topped it with her Irish Guard's gold shamrock brooch. It was the first time the 37-year-old mother of three received the salute at Beating the Retreat, a spectacular musical show where 750 soldiers from the household division performed military music, horsemanship, precision drill, pageantry, and fireworks for 13,000 people. Beating the Retreat is a name from the 1600s that comes from a drum call that was used to call soldiers back to their garrison. It has become an event with music and a ceremony. Every year, the Horse Guards Parade happens for two nights before the Queen's Birthday Parade, also called Trooping the Colour. The theme of that year's show is Icons of a Nation, and it shows how the soldiers of the household division have different jobs. The servicemen and women, who are known for guarding royal palaces and homes, helping to celebrate the state opening of Parliament, and marching for the Queen's birthday, wore their ceremonial uniforms while putting on the show of music and precise marching formations. The theme music from The Longest Day, a movie about the Normandy landings on June 6, 1944, was part of the music program. The Earl of Mansfield, theme from Henry V, and The Lord's My Shepherd of Amazing Grace, were part of the finale. At the end of the night, the moving song Last Post was played. In addition to the bands of the Household Division, which included the Household Cavalry and Five Foot Guards regiments, Kate and the crowd were also entertained by the band, pipes, and drums of the Royal Guard of Oman, the band and pipes of the Royal Regiment of Scotland, the band of the Honourable Artillery Company, London Scottish Regiment Pipes and Drums, National Cadet Force Pipes and Drums, the Royal British Legion Band and Corps of Drums Romford, and the Royal Family has had a busy week. This weekend, they will celebrate the Queen's birthday on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. This comes after three days of a state visit from President Trump, which the Queen, who is 93, hosted. There were also solemn celebrations of the bravery of those who took part in D-Day 75 years ago. I hope you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. A